Hi, today I'm going to make cordia flowers with beautiful big leaves and beautiful red colored flowers. Very, very easy to make. Materials I'm using are grey papers in green and red, a paint brush, a thick wire for stem, a thin wire, green floral tape, and this is a yellow color acrylic paint. This is the stencil for the flower, so all the measurements are in centimeter. This is the stencil for a petal, so the whole thing is 6 centimeters long, tall, but the stem is 3 and the width of the petal is 2 centimeters so even the height of the petal is 3 centimeters so cut 6 centimeters uh, 6 pieces per flower this is of the sepal this is 3 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters cut as many as there are flowers or buds this is of the stamen this is 6 centimeters by 1 centimeter wide then this is of the leaf so the leaves are fairly big so this is 19 centimeters long and 9.5 centimeters wide so take a stamen piece and take the uh, yellow colored acrylic paint and just color the edge of one side on both sides like so so I'll just leave it to dry Now for the flower, uh, just take each petal, apply glue on the stem, and stick the next petal on it a little diagonally. Like so and I'll just leave it to dry after this is dried just put uh, glue on the reverse side of the first petal and bring the last over and stick it Now take the piece for the sepal and just fold it in half and cut out tiny uh, triangles from one side.
mix it. Now just stretch it a bit. Apply glue. And just wrap the around it. So this will be slightly lower than the base of the petals. Like this. After the steam and paint has dried and it will react with the color red. So it will become slightly dull yellow or orangey. So that's the color we want. Now just cut thin strips of this. Not very long. About five or six of this. Now apply glue on the base of this, the stamen. Put this thin wire which is, um, this is about uh, 8 centimeters long. So this is how it will become. So I will just let this dry also. Now just take this and insert it in the flower. First just like press the petals outwards. And then just stretch them. Try to give your nail impressions on it because it has a lot of creases all the petals so and the top part is slightly curved in Just press it down. Take the stamen, insert it. This will go down all the way, and only the tips of the stamen, the yellow portion, that will show like this. So, take the green tape, you can just Sort of press the base of the sepal. This is how it will look. So I've made others in a similar manner. Take some more tape I am just going to put these together you can put more flowers up to you Then I have got another bunch, so I will put that also. Like this. For the leaf, 
first just uh, you know with the edge of the scissors just make you know veins on it and then even the side veins so on this leaf the uh, the veins are fairly marked on the other side too then just stretch the edge to give it that uh, you know wrinkled crumbled effect i have got a thin wire so this is about 15 cm long take some green tape and I'll just cover this with the floral tape like this turn the leaf over apply some glue and stick this wire on it so I'll let it dry so take the thick wire for the stem and some long piece of green floral tape stretch it take the bunch of flowers so these flowers bloom at the end of the branches so they'll always be there just like hibiscus I'm going to take one leaf the leaf should have about 3 to 4 centimeters long uh, stem showing then the other leaf like so so just open them out And this is how the flowers would look. <laughs>